Okay, we have our third array problem here where we're working with this string. And I think in this string, we'll start to realize not only is the array a useful tool for visualizing and understanding fractions, but it's also a great tool for solving. And let's look at the first two here. We have 6 by 10, right? That's 60. As an array, um, we can picture that as if we had a rectangle where it was 6 by 10, something like that. We can label it as a 6 by 10 with an area of 60. And then in the next one, we have a 12 by 5 array, and that also equals 60. And we can set that up, right, as 12 by 5. We can label it 12 by 5. That's also 60. And what we need to start noticing is uh, a pattern here. We went from 6 to 12. So what happened there? We took 6 and we doubled it to get 12. And you can see that here. We go 6, 12. And then it keeps continuing in the string. And the next one will have 24. So maybe there's a pattern there. Um, let's look at the other factor. We went from 10 to what? to 5, right? So there, instead of doubling, we halved the factor from 10 to 5, and then in the next problem we go from 5 to 2.5. So notice that in the first two, these are equal, where you double the first factor and divide the second factor by 2, you don't change anything, because there we're multiplying and dividing by 2. Um, nothing will change. So the same thing is going to happen here. So before I even solve it really, I know that this also has to equal 60, because all I'm doing is doubling 12 and having 5. So overall, nothing will change. And on the array, what this might look like is a really tall and skinny rectangle, maybe something like this, right? It would be 24 by 2 and 1 half, and multiply those two to get 60. So notice here that um, what we're what we can take is we can work backwards. If I gave you this problem, 24 by 2 and a half, and you didn't know how to solve that, you could take 2 and a half, double it to get 5, and have 24 to get 12, and instead solve this problem, because it's in fact the same problem as this one right here. And I think we, that becomes even more clear in the next set. We have 18 by 5 and a half, which is not super friendly. Um, so what we can do is take 18, divide that by 2 to get 9, and double 5 and a half, where we get 11, and we know, we know then that these two problems are the same. We're having and doubling. Nothing overall will change. 9 by 11 is 99. So this also has to equal 99. And uh, we'll play with some more of these and other string um, questions.